Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to change your Minecraft skin in Minecraft 1.15.2. We're going to be going over every single step of changing your Minecraft skin, including getting a new skin and where you can download to find skins and all of that stuff. I'm even going to show you our tutorial on making a Minecraft skin, which you can check out in the description down below if you want to make your own skin and add in your own custom features and stuff like that. You can even take a skin from this website actually and edit it using that tutorial right over here, this, this tutorial right here in the description down below. You can actually edit using that tutorial and customize it and all that stuff. So really, really cool stuff. We're going to be going through it all in this video. But first, we have a mention from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. And you can check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love Apex so much, we actually host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy and just be able to have as your own, you can check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and get some Minecraft skins. So the first thing I actually want to talk about is this link this is in the description down below and it's this video on how to make a minecraft skin it's helped 15,000 people make their own minecraft skins and get a custom skin in minecraft pretty cool stuff and it's a really really simple video that goes kind of over everything you would need to know when it comes to getting a minecraft skin set up you can as i said even upload a skin from like you know the skin decks over here or something and edit that and, and change it and all that stuff so nevertheless if you don't though want to make your own minecraft skin you can download a skin from the second link in the description down below that'll take you here you can see all the top minecraft skins you can also search for minecraft skins over here for example if you wanted like a knight skin we can search for that and there's all these different knight skins that we can download so tons of stuff there really really cool and we're actually going to download this fire and ice knight as our skin that we're going to be using today so here it is what we're going to do is then come over here to the download button on the right hand side so click on that download button and then immediately in the bottom left it will download you shouldn't necessarily need to keep or save this file you might have to if you're on mozilla firefox but on chrome you will not have to keep the file now if we minimize our browser here you will see on my desktop this like little file as you can see it does say ice or fire and ice night which is what we downloaded so cool stuff there however if this isn't on your desktop, it's going to be in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, but probably in the bottom left of your screen. So click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. And then go ahead and search for downloads. You'll have this downloads file folder. Click on that, and then you will find it in here. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use, and you will need to access this file later. So once you've got that on your desktop, all you need to do is open up the Minecraft launcher, the default Minecraft launcher here. If you don't have the default Minecraft launcher, you can change your skin from my Mojang's website or Minecraft. Net, but I would recommend just downloading the Minecraft launcher from that website and just using it to play Minecraft as well as change your skin. So once you're in the Minecraft launcher here, click on the skins tab up here at the top and here you go. Here's kind of everything you need to know with your skin. I'm not actually going to change the, the skin of this account necessarily. I'm going to change the skin of my, like, a, like an alt over here. So Get, hold on, let me log into this alt again. Okay, so that alt wasn't working correctly. So here we are back in the skins tab. Again, you can get here from the play button, click on skins. We're just going to change it on my main account, and then I'll switch it back after this video. But what you want to do is click on this plus new skin button, and then you can name this skin whatever you want. I'm going to name it fire and ice because, well, that's what it is, the fire and ice skin. Then you need to select your model. Some skins are made for the slim Alex model. Some are made for the Steve model, which is the classic Minecraft player. I believe this is the classic Minecraft player. Once you've selected your player model here, just go ahead and click on the browse where it says skin file. This is going to open up your, you know, kind of like a folder file browser here. And then just click on desktop because we moved it to your desktop and then select the file, which as you can see, fire and ice night there. Boom. That's a pretty cool looking skin. You can also switch it back and forth, see which one looks the best. For example, I think the classic looks better with this skin. And then just go ahead and click save and use, right like so, and boom, there you go. Your skin is now set. If you wanna change your skin again, let's say you have another one added over here, you can click on use, it will change the skin. Or if you want to add a new skin, just click on that plus new again, name the skin, select it, all of that stuff. It's that simple. Let's go ahead and jump into Minecraft real quick. That way I can show you that this is in fact working and there's, you know, nothing going on with that. It is truly working without any issues. So we're going to jump into Minecraft real quick. I'm going to go ahead and let everything load up and I will meet you on the main menu. There we go. We are on the Minecraft main menu. We can click on multiplayer and I'm going to go ahead and jump into Breakdown Craft. You can check this out on a, on a like local version and stuff too, but here we are in factions on Breakdown Craft been doing some hacker hunting earlier as you can see we are we are hacker hunting but anyway what we want to do and all we really care about is uh going i'm actually gonna have to leave v for this and then we're going to fn and let's, let's switch switch servers real quick let's go ahead and jump over here to aquatic it's a little calmer on aquatic and then i will do p weather clear and let's do is it fn f5 yes and then i'm gonna have to un v 
also have a dragon head on and an elite truck. There we go. As you can see, this skin is in fact changed. So we can do FN, F5, and kind of like see, there's the back of the skin, there's the front of the skin. This is a pretty cool skin, right? Like so. And then for example, if I wanted to change it back to my default skin, we could disconnect, close out of Minecraft, open up the Minecraft launcher again, click on the skins tab up here at the top. Now I've got my skin saved over here. I don't have to click that plus new, but you could if you wanted to try a different skin, but I have my main skin over there saved, boom. Click on play, click on play again, and now it's gonna open up Minecraft this time. We log into Breakdown Craft. We will see that it is back to my old skin that we all know and love my character wearing. So yeah, pretty simple stuff, and that's how you can change your skin in Minecraft 1.15.2. It's all done from the Minecraft launcher these days. You used to have to log into Mojang.net and do all that stuff. You don't have to do any of that anymore. You can do it all from the Minecraft launcher, and that's a really, really cool thing. I remember having to log in to the Minecraft like website and everything and change your skin in a really ugly, outdated looking interface. Now it's all nice and easy, and you can save skins and stuff. Awesome stuff. Anyway, if we go ahead and jump into a breakdown craft, we will be able to again. I'm going to do again P weather clear. By the way, that is a, I believe, a diamond rank perk on breakdown craft, being able to do clear weather or player weather clear and then I will have to un -V, obviously and there we go see we're back in my old normal skin that honestly I'm now growing less and less fond of but nonetheless there you all have it that is how you can change your skin in Minecraft if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if we did help you get a new skin and go play this here this is breakdown craft we are currently on aquatic survival this is a slash shop based survival economy server we do have medieval survival as well with a player based economy and 30 custom awesome quest on medieval survival then we do have custom skyblock as well with finch generators 1.8 pvp custom or op enchantments all that awesome stuff and then last but not least we have factions factions is brand new to breakdown craft we are seeing great success over there it is absolutely incredible and we do have custom factions enchantments as well as factions upgrades tons and tons of awesome custom features things like king of the hill it's just it's incredible so come play with this play at our breakdowncraft.com is the ip i cannot wait to see you online my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i am out Pace.